kitchen nightmares, Gordon goes to Ridgewood, New Jersey to meet the most defensive chef he's ever met, Paul Bazzini. I don't have all the tickets memorized. Not only is the restaurant failing. I don't want to get out of bed in the morning. I'm miserable. But his staff are fed up with his tantrums. That's why you have a ticket. Don't push it, Paul. But well, what's up the f sarcasm? What the f you want? His wife is fed up with his attitude. I never saw anything like that in my life. Think that I like this? I don't. I have nothing else to say to you. And the customers are fed up with not being fed. Get my food now. And every time something goes wrong. We're sinking like the Titanic in here. All Paul wants to do. I can't do everything myself. Is give excuse. Don't have eyes in the back of my head. After excuse. And I'm doing 400 things at once. After excuse. I can't cook and talk and manage the tickets. I need help. So you have given up. Will Chef Ramsay be able to finally get through to him? Have some fire in your belly. Or will Paul finally run out of excuses? I know that it starts and stops with me. You say all the right things. Find out tonight <laughs> on Kitchen Nightmares. Now it's time to do the right things. with New Jersey, an affluent suburb well known for the sheer volume of restaurants. Smack in the middle of this pleasant town is a five-year-old restaurant run by a former Manhattan star chef, Paul Bazzini. I'm a very good chef. We got a full dining room, drop another pan for four more. Here we go. I've always been in the industry and worked my way up and became executive chef and worked in many places in Manhattan that had a lot of notoriety. I love you. Oh, love you too. Paul has been recognized many times throughout his career. He has been written up in several magazines with some very positive reviews, and I absolutely thought the restaurant was going to be a success. But Paul never anticipated the transition from star chef to owner would be so difficult. I don't have any focus these days. I wake up in the morning and I say, what direction should I go in today? Should I cook? Should I shop? Should I work in the front of the house? Should I work on marketing? Should I pay bills? And it's like overwhelming. It's killing me. I think the pressure of owning the restaurant has definitely beat him down and his passion for food is not burning as brightly as it once was. Clearly what's going on with me in the kitchen is suffering. Here's your salad. What salad, what table? I'm confused, I'm confused. Yeah, New York ship, New York ship, New York, okay, you're, you're right. I am distracted, I am frustrated, I'm angry. Always somebody, always somebody, always somebody. And then I'm frustrated with the food and I'm slamming plates on because the plate doesn't look the way that I want it to look. It's messy, but let's just go with it, okay? The risotto was burnt. I don't know, is this supposed to be spicy? A lot of complaints. Yeah, so I heard. I don't feel like me, I feel like somebody else. I feel like me looking at somebody else. Everyone knows that he's just not good about criticism. This needs to be heated up. These are perfect. Okay. He gets pissed off and he yells. I don't have all the tickets memorized. Do I. Well, that's why you have a ticket. Yeah, okay. Do you think if you had a lot of money, you wouldn't be so <laughs> moody? I support the restaurant financially, certainly. If I didn't do that, we would have been bankrupt years ago. There's no magic ATM machine like in the backyard, like a magic money tree that I can just go pick money from. There are no college funds for our children. Every day, I'm scared that we're not gonna be able to pay the bills. We need help, we need direction, we need advice, and my resume and all of my accolades don't mean a hill of beans if I can't make it work here. His passion for cooking defines him, and I feel like it's lost to him right now. Now he needs to get it back. There are over 60 restaurants within four blocks inside this beautiful town. Now, after seeing a few of them, my mouth is watering. I can't wait for lunch. Right, the zine is innovative American cuisine. What? Am I too late? Bazzini's, hours, Monday to Thursday, 5 till 9.30. No lunch? That's ridiculous. Hi, Paul Gordon here, where are you? Call me. Unbelievable. Speak to Chef Ramsay, please. Is that Paul? 
Hi, this is Paul Bazzini. How are you? Sorry, I missed you. I didn't realize you were close for lunch. Uh, yes, sir. We're close for lunch. Okay, I'm on my way. Who's starving? How are you? Hi, welcome to Bazzini's. Chef Ramsay, pleasure to meet you. Gordon. Gordon, Paul, pleasure to meet you. Nice to see you too. Thank wow, you. Wow, this is minute, isn't it? It's challenging. <laughs> My goodness me. Is this it? Yes, sir. Wow. It's like being inside a doll's house. It, it, it's uh, some decor challenges here. Well, you're here. Yes, sir. Finally, I'm here. Okay. Um, uh, clearly, there's nothing else going on uh, lunch-wise. Why don't you cook me something? Okay. Yeah? Don't show me the menu. You decide. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I have to just, you know, focus on, like, the food. Will it be to his taste? Will it be to his opinion? Who knows? This place makes me feel nervous. It's small, it's cramped, and no one of the clothes for lunch. God, so narrow for this place. From one table to the next. Oh. Oof. God, they're grimy. That's depressing. Not comes with sound effects. Maybe he'll blow me away with the food because the atmosphere... Mm, my God, it's depressing. I'm thinking that I want to send out just a, 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 just a few light dishes to him. Something hot, something cold, something grilled, something sautéed. Just a, a full, rounded experience. Hey, Paul. Yes. Yes. Hey, how's it going? You Good. I think Chef Ramsay's gonna have a lot of things to say to Paul about how to change things, and I don't think Paul's gonna take it well. The gentleman said he was very hungry, so... Fair enough. I think Paul has his own ideas that what he's doing is just right, it doesn't need to be changed, and uh, I think some of those things do need to be changed. Here we go. That is the fettuccine. Mm -hmm. Basil arugula pesto, a little mm -hmm. ricotta salada on top. What? And then behind that, here is a chicken paillard, a sort of milanese, pounded, mm -hmm. breaded. Excellent. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't catch your name. My name's Alex. Alex. Charmed. Good to see you so much. Pleasure. I'll be back in a moment. Thank you, Alex. Cold. Bland. Pretty bland. Okay. Look at this thing. It's like a elephant's foot. <laughs> That's not normal for a chicken to be so hard. That's the mess. Thank you, Alex. Absolutely. Um, I'd appreciate if the chef could actually taste that. Okay. Because it is bland beyond bland. Okay. Um, why is that so dry? Hmm. I wish I had a good answer for that question. Chicken should be moist. Well, I'll move straight to the next course. Thank sure. you. Fettuccine bland. Chicken. Why is it so dry? Okay, that's. I want to go home. Paul certainly doesn't like it when people criticize his food, but you know, I think he actually reacted to Chef Ramsay's criticisms the same way he reacts to a lot of the guests' criticisms. Like maybe it's not necessarily that important because he's right. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very well. I'm Leslie Bazzini. Nice to see you, darling. Nice to see you. Likewise. Thank you for coming. Not at all, really Leslie. appreciate your help. It means well, a lot to us that you're here. I don't want to get emotional, but thank you. I'm very happy to be here. And uh, can I give you a hug? Feel <laughs> better. Here's someone who has the ability to help us, and um, he's going to. You know, that's a miracle. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to finish my uh, lunch. Yes, absolutely. Thank um, you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Alex. Hello. Lovely. Thank you. Here we are. Okay, that is our mushroom risotto. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Damn, is that normal? Amazing Bazzini's risotto. Mm. Well, wow, that's extraordinary, no? Doesn't even move. Well, maybe that'll look better up there. Yeah. It fits the colors. Absolutely disgusting. So, you don't look too impressed. I just taste of mush. Thank you, Alex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My pleasure. I'll bring you some tilapia next. Mm -hmm. Nah, he doesn't like that. <laughs> he doesn't like it? Too mushy. There is a classic, you know, way to do it, but some people around here just don't like it that way, you know? My ego's not here to hear that Gordon Ramsay loved the dishes or didn't like the dishes. I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about what I do and how, what, the product that, that I put out. It's all yours, Alex. All right, here we go. 
Thank you. Almond crusted tilapia, jasmine rice with some pepper. Hopefully you enjoy it. Wow. I love the jasmine rice. He has to like the jasmine rice. Hmm? It's just so bland, honestly. I mean, it's just greasy, bland, and you cut into the fish and it's just mush. Now, how is the tilapia coming along? Are we making some forward progress here? Yeah, no, I'm, do you know what? I'm, uh, I'm still hungry. Um, do you have something in mind? Uh, any desserts? Certainly. Sharon, our dessert chef, makes everything. Good. I've got a carrot cake. Oh, wow. Should be a New York cheesecake. Do you know what? A little slice of the cheesecake and the carrot cake. Done. Please. Yes. Cheesecake, carrot cake, tilapia, no go. Fish was bland. Watery. Fish was bland? Again, we're, we're kind of like, we have an older clientele here. They like nod to assertive okay. things. Right. How could I think that Paul did a good job? You know, if he did a good job, Chef Ramsey would have said the food was great. You know, he didn't say that, so Paul didn't do a good job. We'll start right here with a carrot cake. Wow, all homemade. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Hi. Gordon's eating your carrot cake right now as we speak. Oh. Oy vey. The last thing that people eat is dessert. And if the dessert sucks, that's bad. Hey. Bloody hell. Oh, you scared me. Don't come around the corner like that. Sharon. <laughs> Sharon. First of all, that is delicious. Awesome. Now, whose recipe is that? Mine. Can I have it? No, for a price. Everything for a price. For a price. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. That's made with passion. As much as you have. You make love to that carrot cake, don't you? Well, I'm getting divorced, so it's the cake or... Uh... <laughs> I'll go for the cake. Hope he likes it, Sharon. It's going to be devastated if he hates it. I hate it. I'm so glad you liked it. Honestly, I thought like as a wake in a funeral, and all of a sudden the carrot cakes arrive and woof, and back up there. I love you! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Although dessert left Chef Ramsay with a good taste in his mouth, it still doesn't erase the bad taste of the rest of the meal. Let's talk about the food. Dessert. Let's go backwards. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That was delicious. Good. Glad yeah. you enjoyed it. Really good. Yeah, um, sure. Great way to finish. Clearly, but I certainly didn't start off like that. I said to you, show me your best. Give it to me big time. The risotto was embarrassing. Paul, it tasted the way it looked. Damn, is that normal? Bland, mushy, and it looked atrocious. Honestly, it was disgusting. The chicken. How many days were you baking that for? Seriously, I mean, you may laugh, but it's not funny. Honestly, I thought I'd lost my tooth. It was so crunchy on the outside. Dry in the middle. It wasn't intended to be dry or to be overcooked. Uh, you sent it out. I know that. That's the way you normally cook it, overdone. I certainly yeah. don't think that I cook food overdone. OK. I mean, it's Risotto not overcooked. Thing. Chicken overcooked. You certainly did for me. OK. I, I need to get some fresh air. I'm going to come back later. I'm here tonight. Show it to me. OK. Hopefully this time with a little bit more effort. OK. Did you think that he was going to like it? It angers me that Paul has given up because I haven't given up. You're like, dead. I want the nightmare to be over. Coming up, a shocking dinner service where Paul loses control of the kitchen. I don't have all the tickets memorized. And his mind. That's why you have a ticket. He ends up taking his frustration out on his staff. What's with the dark hands? What the on top of that, his wife no longer believes in it. Why was Sean even like that? My wife! Can Chef Ramsay make a last-ditch effort to save Paul? Have some fire! I'm miserable. Why? From himself. I never thought in a million years this could happen. That's next on Kitchen Nightmares. This former Manhattan star chef failed to impress Chef Ramsay at lunch. Now it's time for Chef Ramsay to see how Paul handles the customers of Ridgewood, New Jersey in a dinner service. All right, guys, we got to get ready. I hope Paul could get it together. The food is there. The capability is there. You just have to do it. It's like you have to work it off the pot. Hello, good evening. Can I take your wine? You may. Here you go. You can enjoy. And this is Al. Al, good nice to see you. To meet you. You're a sous chef, right? Yes. This kitchen's like a 
two boxing games. Yeah, I know. Holy crap. I think Chef Ramsay doesn't realize that I worked with a lot of very well-known chefs. It's not intimidating. I have the talent, the desire, and I definitely can do the job. Crab cakes across the board, so for this risotto. You smell good. I smell good. Shannon, are you hitting on me? No, I like no? the aftershave. It smells nice. Oh, maybe just brush your ass off me. No, I'm not. Gordon is adorable. And of course, he's got quite the butt. <laughs> I'm sorry. Order in. The crab cakes are ready. Okay, thank you. How come they're cooked already? They're pre seared. You sear a crab cake? No. We pre sear the crab cake and then it goes into the oven. No, hold on a minute. Why wouldn't you do that to order? For it to expedite it out a little bit faster. But surely it'll take longer to get yes. hotter once it's already cooked. Yes. Is it me or does that not make sense? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Here is your crab cake, sir. May I get you any fresh pepper on that? Uh, no, thank you. No. That's strange. How are they doing in the That's kitchen? A bucket of crab cakes that just go into the oven to be reheated. But they were seared off like yesterday. Did you know they were done the day before? Of course not. No. I thought everything was fresh. Everything. I feel like Paul is losing his artistry and that he doesn't care. It's not affecting him. It not only pains me, it, it angers me, quite frankly. I mean, that's just not OK. It's all burned on the side. All I can taste is the, is the food is burned. Is it really? Is everything okay with your crab cakes, sir? It's not burned. It's over. Okay. Yeah, let me get that back to you. No problem. I need another crab cake on the fly. What do they say? It was burnt. Burnt? Yeah, there's two more. We're about to go out. Please tell me you're not going to serve them. No, I'm not, Chef. We had issues with the crab cakes tonight. It's not the right way to do it. It should be done a different way, and I know how to do it a different way. But that's not how it was done. That? It's not. It's disgusting. Yes, it do is. something about it, please, yes. Paul. Okay. Yeah? These are garbage. This is not a reflection of the way that I want things to be, OK? So how are we going back there, right? I'll go check for you. <laughs> it's an hour into dinner service, and very little food has left the kitchen. So, around 29 of bread. So hungry. In order to get an accurate picture of the slowdown... That's not ready? There's no potatoes on it, honey, okay? Chef Ramsay times how long cooked food sits at the pass. I just think I eat, like, nine loaves of bread just sitting here waiting for our food. Okay, four minutes. That's that lamb steak. Paul, oh, that's still there. Yes, I'm working on everything. Everything is working. Hey, let me bring some food out there. I, yeah, but she have her. Yeah. Paul is communicating, but most of his communication is that he can't handle it and it's going too fast. <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave that. Yeah, no, all joking aside. Just yeah, no, good point. It is a little bit, like a little, a little bit. yeah. Okay, these people are gonna leave if I don't get this one out. He decides how fast things come out. I don't know why it takes so long. I just know it takes so long. They have to be fat there. That makes it funny. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, table 32 can now go. Thank you. You're welcome. Finally. Yes. And now, after a long wait, those potatoes look a little overdone. The customers aren't satisfied. Okay, no problem. I'll send that back for you. Okay, thank you. Paul? What's wrong? Uh, it's cold. Oh, come on. I've certainly become annoyed with clients, and I feel like, you know, people that want to give you criticism, they just don't know, like, what you're going through, and if they just knew, like, a little bit of what you were going through, they might be a little bit more compassionate, but it's not a compassionate business. Is this going, Paul? I'm just worried about food coming back cold, and this is sat here. I was told that the salads would be ready. I'm waiting for the salads. Take half of that salad off. What are you building? Christmas tree? Half of that. No, half. The plates don't look the way they should when I don't do them. Well, when I put... Just take half of the salad off. Please follow my directions. I'm going to help you, okay? I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to help you. Contrary to what everybody says, I do know a few things. Oi vey. Easy to sum up Paul's moods. If he were a woman, he would have PMS 24-7, okay? So let me demo a chicken melonese for the 400th time, which is nothing more than chicken and salad, and my 12-year-old can do it. Yeah, listen, don't push it, Paul. When I don't put it high enough, you yell at me that it's not freaking high enough. Why do you have to make it so difficult for us? Why, can't we, just, why, Go, can't, why, why can't we just finish this chicken milanese and make this particular chicken milanese a right one? Not talking about yesterday, no, not talking about next month, but what's with the sarcasm? Well, how about, can't how about, happen if you tell me you don't want way. How about that? Then you change it. What the do you want from me? Changing it right. Why you told me the first time?
Why do you have to make it so difficult for us? Why can't we? The battle to get food out tonight has resulted in a war in the kitchen. And make, but what's with the f What the f you want from me? And the impact is being felt in the dining room. Get my food now. Who's waiting for one? 34 has been waiting for like an hour. I know. So. This big table behind me, what are they waiting on? Whose table is that? Julie's. How long are they waiting on trades? Over an hour. Yeah, it's all over an hour. This is not normal, surely. No. no. Tonight is the worst dinner service that I have ever seen. I mean, I have never experienced anything like this in my life. Okay, there, Paul. Yes, sir. I don't know what's happened, but the level of frustration out there is intense. Okay. So, stop. We can't continue like this. Stop it. Will you apologize to the tables, please, Rebecca? What a freaking disaster. Bad, I know. And it was a terrible night. We had people not get food when tickets were here. We failed, and I, it's my responsibility. Sorry, my friends. The kitchen has been shut down. I'm so sorry. I've never had to do this before. Anything like that, my life. I understand that. Do you think that I like this? Do you think that I want it to be like this? I don't. But, but what? I'm one person with two hands. Paul, you don't. Please don't with excuses. That's not gonna help. Paul had a horrible night. A hundred percent off his game, and I think gave up before he even got started. But people hated the food. Well, that's not what we got back here. <laughs> I'm very angry saying that someone liked something. 50 people didn't like it. Open your eyes. I have nothing else to say to you. Equally as miserable as tonight's dinner service was Paul's attitude. And Chef Ramsay wants to know why. Tonight showed me that you hated cooking. I cannot ignite that little button. Chef. I need to see it from you. Chef, I feel awful. I, this is not the way that I want to work, or the way that I know that I can work. Why are you doing it to yourself? I, I... Why? You've got like... to give me the answer, because I can't start helping until you tell me. But I mean... No one's asking you to rant and rave. I'm just asking you to have some fire. It's not normal for a guy that's been cooking for 20 years plus to stand there with no feel or passion and say like that as if it's just going over your head. Whether you like it or not, you have given up. Your whole family is on the line here. Do you know how hard it is to look at my kids when I go home at night? Or my wife? It's not easy, okay? It's not supposed to be easy. I don't care if it's not easy. I just want it to be better. But don't stop trying. Think I'm happy? I'm miserable. I don't want to get out of bed in the morning. I want to stay in bed. Okay, listen, I'm committed to helping you, and I'm not leaving this place until it's set. We are going to work at this together at turning this around. Tomorrow, I want you at your best. Yes? Yes. Get some sleep. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Raining night, Chef Ramsay has a task in mind to help ignite Paul's passion in the kitchen. Good morning. Hello. Uh, new day, new attitude, new start. So, last night, it took us an hour, on average, to get appetizers out. So here's what we're doing today. I want you to get used to the time pressure. You see what I'm saying? Like, sort of, you know, yeah. kick-starting the car again. Do you know, like, a new battery in it. <laughs> You've got 15 minutes yep. from now yep. to cook me oh, God. a stunning yeah. pasta dish. Off you go. Oh, you're trying to kill me. You can do it, huh? 15 minutes. Go, Paul. Go. <laughs> In order for Paul to impress Chef Ramsay, this chef is making fresh pasta for the first time in five years. I just want to be able to do what I know how to do it. Just, you know, just cook from the heart and uh, get back to raising the bar for myself. What are you going to make? I'm just getting a lay of the land. That's you all. Yeah, 14 minutes. The clock is ticking, and it's just, you know, like everything around me was just turned off. Like I wasn't hearing or seeing or feeling or worrying. It was just, you know, I was living in the moment. 10 minutes, babe. He's sitting, he's ready, he's waiting to be served. You can totally, totally wow him right now, please. I was watching everything that he did, and I was definitely afraid that Chef Ramsay wasn't going to like it and, and what that would mean. Carry it out. 
I'll carry it out. You sure you want to do that? Yes. All right. Hey. Here we go. Chef. Thank you. You're welcome. We have a capellini pasta with a chunky puntanesca sauce and some rock shrimp. Lovely. Well, I used to be a good chef. I think I'm still a good chef. I would just want him to be able to recognize that there was a, a passion that went into making this. Chef Ramsay has put Paul's passion for cooking to the test. We have a capellini pasta with a puntanesca sauce. Lovely. Now it's time to find out if he passed. I would hope that Chef Ramsay would recognize that, you know, some love went into making this dish. Will it be to his taste? Who knows? Mmm. That's nice. Capellini. Cook perfectly. Thank you. Yeah, it just felt good to just have a really positive comment from Chef Ramsay. I really needed that lift. What does pasta mean to you? To me, it's like bread, it's death of life. Mm -hmm. Pasta can be anything. You can go through all different flavors, textures, yep. proteins, colors. You yep. can have dried pasta, fresh pasta. It's a blank canvas. It's, you know, it's, it's just something for yep. the artist to paint. You are sounding more exciting in the last two minutes talking about pasta than you have done since I've met you. It was the old Paul. He was excited, he was energized. It was the man that I married. And it's really weird, isn't it? It takes something like a pasta dish to sort of ignite how you feel about it. Absolutely. Today, at this moment, I know that, like, the healing process has begun. After a small glimmer of hope this morning, Chef Ramsay wants to try an experiment. Time for some sophisticated marketing. He wants to take advantage of the Ridgewood foot traffic and test Paul's speed in the kitchen. How are you? So for the first time in four years, Bazzini's is open for lunch. Having lunch today? Fabulous lunch menu around the corner. Bazzini, $15. Soup salad and the most amazing pasta. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now Chef Ramsay only has one thing left to do. Tell the owners. So here's what we're doing today. We're going to serve the most amazing two-course lunch. That's right. This is not a formal, long-winded, three-hour ordeal. This is a really nice, easy, quick, vibrant lunch. I'm nervous, but you know, this is what we're gonna do today, fantastic. You know, great, Th you know, terrific. You and I in the kitchen? Great. I'm your sous chef. Okay, fantastic. I'm your bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ladies, you've both got great personalities, so both of you running the front of house. I don't know anything about the front of the house. I don't care about the front of the house. I just wanna do my job. Great service, great food, in and out. Follow me, please. Chef Ramsay is hoping today's lunch will show Paul and Leslie the opportunity they are not taking advantage of. They'll have the pasta special, the Fantina pasta. And the power of serving fresh pasta. Soup three, pantanella two. Okay, good, let's go. Two soups are going in the window, Chef, to go up with two salads. Salads, 30 seconds, Paul. Very good, thank you. Don't forget, speed today, yes? Yes. Order in one soup, two orecchiette. Two panzanella. Three vegetable orecchiette, three regular orecchiette. Very good. Oh, waitressing is totally not my thing. I'll be right with you, folks. You girls okay? We're just waiting on our wine. Oh. Um, garlic. Oh, my pen's not writing. I'm sorry. Sharon and I are not servers. We did the best that we could. Is everything okay? We get spoons, too. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. But we forgot that you need a spoon to eat soup. Where's the spoon? Why are you asking me? Oh, God help me. Oops. I'm sorry. Service! Manage with that. Thank you. That looks great. Enjoy it. Next on tray is what? Two orecchiettes, one vegetarian orecchiette. It was great working with Gordon Tate. You know, we worked together, we jumped around. It was good. It was like a good two-man, you know, vibe. It felt good, you know, it felt real good. With Chef Ramsay and Paul working together. You got four vegetarian, I got five normal, yes? Four vegetarian on the way. Excellent. Beautifully cooked fresh pasta is flying out of the kitchen. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. There you go. Gosh, this is so good. So it is like the best pasta I've ever like Very nice stuff your mom makes. And you're in and out in no time? Mm -hmm. How is it? Very good. Good. Very good. Very good. good, I'm glad. The kitchen did everything right today. That's it, the board is cleared, yeah? Yeah. I don't have any tickets. You're Anyone good need food? Go. No food. I absolutely think lunch should be an everyday thing at Bazzini. I think that uh, today probably proved that to Paul. It was a great lunch service. It was really good. It was profitable, and we, we you know, we made money, and uh, customers were happy, and it was quick, and it was easy. Feel good.
Coming up, it's relaunch night at Buzzini. This is the most important night of this guy's life. Will Paul rise to the occasion? It's raw. Or will he go back to his old ways? I'm one person with two hands. Giving excuse. Don't have eyes in the back of my head. I'm doing 400 things at once. After excuse. I can't cook and manage. Hey, we're all working together here. Quit the arguing. The survival of the restaurant is on the line. We're sinking like the Titanic in here. But not everybody believes in saving. Where's my sushi? Where the f is Al? I don't know. He's gone. Al! Al! Inspired by Paul's performance during lunch and his fresh pasta, Chef Ramsay and his team work overnight to renovate the restaurant. Morning. Hey. hey. Welcome to the new Pazini. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Look at it. New trellising, new sign. It looks inviting. It's gorgeous. In the neighborhood with 60 restaurants, you have to stand out. It looks spectacular. Awesome. The trellis just looks beautiful. Ready to go inside? Yes. I, let's go. I have ants in my pants. This. The tables are gorgeous. I love these tchotchkes. Look at that. That's that awesome. so nice. Gone is a lemon pound cake on the walls. New slick Italian bonquets. Is that lovely? It's just modern. It looks great. The color is contemporary. Look at the napkins. Fresh wow. pasta made daily. Welcome to Bazzini. This is freaking awesome. The dining room is beautiful. I never thought in a million years this could happen. And, um, we are so grateful. Thank you again. Thank you. Oh, good one, darling. I'm glad you're happy. The restaurant renovation was drastic, but the biggest change to Bazzini's is the menu. Chef Ramsay has taken the old risotto, the disgusting chicken, and the bland tilapia and replaced them with a new and vibrant menu featuring fresh pasta. Love the menu. From 27 dishes down to 15. Why is it reduced? Because it's fast. The idea is everything's cooked to order. It's fresh. Char grilled calamari with fresh chili and arugula. The main entree is bistecca, fresh caponata with white beans. Pasta of the day is going to be tagliatelle of mussels and clams. That's the hallmark. Paul, is that menu manageable? Yeah. Looking at the menu, the bar is set at the 10, and we need to be able to get as high to the 10 as possible. Certainly nothing less than an eight and a half. Desserts, Sharon. Carrot cake. Look at it. Beautiful. Sumptuous, sexy, and something you want to take home to bed. <laughs> Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> what? Take home to bed. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're killing me. Hello, welcome. You are Panera. Panera. With the new menu and the new decor in place. Follow me, please. Chef Ramsay has invited VIPs and dignitaries to show why Bazzini's is special, even amongst the 60 restaurants in town. Let's see what this new menu offers us. All pastas, fresh, made here on the premises today. We have the calamari to start with. Calamari to start off, excellent. First order, yes? Yeah, one polenta, one calamari? Yes, chef. Yeah, one tortellini? Yes, chef. One tagliatelle? Al, I would get the calamari working, okay? Okay. One try and get a little bit more color on it. Tickets coming in. I'm not thinking about, am I going to be able to do it? I'm not thinking about, oh my god, we're going to crash. It's about me pushing myself to be the person that I am. Tonight, Paul's attitude couldn't be better. Get like four more plenty working, please. And everything in the kitchen seems to be right on track. This is table number 21, chef. Okay, good. Now, the first appetizers are at the pass. Hey, guys, it's raw here. Touch that. I can't send out raw calamari, yeah? Paul, please. Yes, chef. It's raw. My God. Make sure everything's cooked. Paul, these tables are very okay. important. I need a second to think. Oh, come on. Al, you got to Come on. I need help. I need you to get in the game with me. Please, I, I can't do it all alone. Al, please tell me a polenta. Please tell me how polenta. I know what's on the line. I know we got dignitaries in the diner. We have to get the job done. We have to get it done well. We have to just get it done. Get an order in. It's table 21. Guys, I can't cook and talk and manage the tickets. I need help. I'm not working alone here. Bomb was a total disaster. He got flustered, I guess, and there was a lack of communication. The pressure of relaunch night has clearly gotten to Paul, his sous chef Al, and the rest of the kitchen staff. Now, we're not 
not firing at the moment. And 45 minutes in, not a single entree has left the kitchen. It speaks so highly of the fresh pasta. You guys didn't bring it out. Yeah. Talk to me, Paul, please. Okay, I'm... 24, I'm, totally need tag special. It's only a two-top, yeah? But, Chef, I want to get this four pastas out first. Yeah, I know, but what I'm trying to say to yes, you sir, is yes. it's the same dish. Put a four and a two-top together, kill two birds with one stone. Position yourself. Absolutely. Manipulate yeah. the board to your advantage. Come on. An hour and a half later. Of course. We're hungry. Yeah, this is... This is I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, I hate to say it, but 33 has been waiting forever. I mean, they're one of the first tables that walked in this door. Everything is a complete mess. Nobody's getting their food. The orders are all mixed up. It's just unbelievable out there. These VIP tables, yeah, are waiting too long. I need some help. I need someone to move tickets. I can't do everything I myself. Need some communication. We need to cook. We're sinking like the Titanic in here. Let's just cook. This is such a shame. Paul shut down. He's not communicating, and more importantly, I think he's given up. God's sake. Come on, Paul! Paul! I'm doing 400 things at once. I'm trying to do damage control at this point. Damage control is not what I want to do at this point. I want to cook, I want to get food out, I want, you know, clearly I need some help. 41, I need to know how long. I need someone to tell me what 41 is. Don't have eyes in the back of my head. Okay. What's our ETA on 45, Paul? Al, talk to Al. Guys! This table's been waiting for an hour. Can't do it all. I, I got this. I don't know that for sure. Well, I've been waiting for like. Everybody here is waiting. A hey, don't shush me. We're all working together here. I, I, we don't I, I, need a shusher. Guys, this is the most important night of this guy's life. Quit the arguing. Everything crashed. I don't know if it was the Titanic or the Hindenburg, but it's a mess. All right, I know you don't want to hear this, but I need a pasta special and I need it immediately. Bloody hell, where's Al? Where's my sushi? I'm the only one in this kitchen. Oh. Al! Al! Where is Al? I don't know. Where the is Al? We don't know. He's gone. No sign of him. He's clearly gone. For God's sakes, man. Al! It's relaunch night at Bazzini's, and not only are customers getting restless... An hour and a half later... Of course. We're hungry. But sous chef Al has gone AWOL. Where's Al? Where's my sous chef? Al! Al! I think he quit. I was shocked that Al walked out. That really sucks. There was a shock wave that went through the kitchen, the service staff. No one could really believe it. Come on, guys, please. Just left high and dry like that, it's a little difficult. Listen to me, Al may be gone, but the customers need feeding. Let's support one another. But as a human being with compassion, you go in, you help, and you give it your best shot. All right, take a deep breath. I'm glad to help. If you cook the garnishes, I can cook the lamb, the strip. Yes? Yes, chef. Let's go, then. I can only imagine what's really? happening in that kitchen back there. Start working on three tag, two pepper deli straight after, yes? Yes, chef. Good. I'll do the risotto. Sharon, are you with me? I'm totally with you. Sharon, congratulations and a new sous chef. I'm very embarrassed. Our sous chef walked out. It's not even full, oh, it's too tight. You know, it's like it's, it's like staunch, yeah? Good girl, Sharon. Thank you, chef. Good girl. Let's go. Talk to me. Come on, Paul, please. I'm one minute from dressing. I'm one minute from dressing. Chef, I'm working. It's still gonna be a few minutes. I apologize. Tag special in the window. Good okay. girl. Thank you, Sharon. Service, please. To save tonight's dinner service, Chef Ramsay has taken over the kitchen. Come back for the risotto, please. And along with Sharon's help... Hold on, Sharon. ...food is now entering the dining room. As can eat, shall we? Sometimes in time, receive. But now the question is, do the customers feel it was worth the wait? The food is fantastic. Worth the wait. Risotto has a wonderful taste. Mm -hmm. Great oh, yeah, risotto. We had some challenges, you know? We had some things that weren't expected to happen. But that said, everyone stepped up as best as they could, got good feedback from the people. So, you know, I feel it was success. Before I spend some time, 
with Paul and Leslie. I just want to say um, a big thank you. Yeah, your desserts are fantastic. Over the desserts, your personality is, for me, fundamental to the longevity and the potential success of this restaurant. And I just want to say uh, a big thank you. Well done, my darling. Yeah. Oh, ay, 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 ay. I enjoyed his company. I think he enjoyed mine, and I hope I made him proud. Thank you. Because I really tried very hard. Right, that wasn't easy. No. No, nowhere near it. Uh, however, I know the customers love the food. Absolutely. Yeah? And tonight confirmed that you have an identity. Mm -hmm. The fresh pasta is out there. But, truthfully, as hard as this is for me to say to you face to face, uh, honestly, Paul, you haven't changed enough to convince me that this can turn around. I was totally focused and totally committed. No, 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 no. You weren't, Paul. Chef. No, no, come on, big boy. The first appetizer had raw squid. Not slightly seared. Raw. 20 minutes later, the place was sunk. You needed me. I regrouped, got the kitchen back together. I've never worked this hard in launching a restaurant. The truth hurts, Paul. You've got to start telling yourself some serious home truths. The way to becoming a better chef is to realize your weaknesses and improve those weaknesses. I've taken all of the advice and I've taken a lot of it to heart and I've seen a lot of it of what I do is wrong. Here's my advice. At the heart of this restaurant has to be you, your food, you on the plate. You have to stand up to the plate and hold the reins. I know that it starts and stops with me, and I know that I have to be the leader, and I know that I have to command the troops, and I take responsibility for so that. So you say all the right things always, but now it's time to do the right things. Right. Can I think? Can I don't? I think that Chef Ramsay came in and really identified the problems, and I think he certainly helped Paul, and I totally feel that all the tools we have are enough to save the restaurant. Chef. Yes, Chef. Good luck. Thank you very much. Yes. Appreciate everything. Appreciate all your hard Cheers. work and, and everything you've done for me. It's over to you now. I yeah. won't let you down. This experience has been amazing. I've been put on the path to success that I'm really excited about going forward. Please, don't let yourself down. Thanks very much. Good night. Good night. What a week. Ridgewood may have 60 restaurants within four blocks, but I do believe the new Bazinis, with its fresh pasta, can be a huge local success. Unfortunately, I'm just not sure about Paul, but nothing would make me happier if you could prove me wrong. After Gordon's departure, Paul immediately hired a strong sous chef. And with the new fresh pasta identity, Bazzini's experienced a boost in business. Oh, it's very good. Sadly, Sharon left the restaurant to get away from Paul and to focus on her own dessert business.